Oh my god, I am surrounded. I'm completely surrounded. I need to reload, please let me reload. What the f Gas, bro. What's up guys? I am no one and I only need one more golden assault rifle to start unlocking platinum. So today we're gonna be unlocking gold for the ISO hemlock. And here's the build I'm gonna be using. I definitely feel this is a very strong build. As you can see, we have no cons and a lot of buffs as well. I'm gonna go more in depth on my attachments and the tunings at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around till then. So here's the rest of my build really quick. And I'm just gonna hop into quick play. I've been having a lot of fun just playing quick play. The close quarters playlist is fun, but I feel it's a lot more sweaty lobbies for some reason. So I like to just go into a quick play every once in a while just to like have a nice game. <laughs> Shit, we've got a match in progress, but I love this map, so I mean that's a good start. Hey, it's, it's only just started, so that's good. So I need to get, I forgot to mention it, but I need to get five more three kill streaks. I'm gonna try not to focus too much on what kill streak I'm at, because that always messes me up. If I just play normally, I usually just end up getting it a lot easier. Like I have no idea where people are right now, I thought they'd be at A, but... I guess not. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm, I'm already almost at one of my kill streaks. If I could just get one more kill. Nice. Look at that. See what I'm talking about with quick play? It's... Uh, I'm not dying as soon as I turn a corner. That's what usually happens. If I'm playing in the, in the on the close quarters playlist, I turn a corner and I die instantaneously, like, every single time. So... <laughs> Oh, kind of like that. Yeah, already I can tell this is this is gonna be a, a nice match. I might actually be able to get it done in one match. I got my UAV out. I can't see. Oh my god! Please, please, no! This is going pretty well so far. Cool. Why is that? Why are they burning? What did I put? Why? What made him burn? I'm confused. Did somebody else shoot him? Okay, well there's another three kill streak. This this match is uh kind of easy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought he was a dead body for sure. I think they're coming around this way. Yeah. Oh my god. Kinda messed up my shots there. I'm one away again. I need to stop thinking about it though. Shit, I think the guy was laying on the floor again. Did he? I swear he just looked directly at me. I just had to just had to check. Oh, what the fuck! I should have died there for sure. I messed that up pretty bad. Yeah, let's go. I right, okay. There we go. Oh my god! I am surrounded. I'm completely surrounded. I need to reload, please let me reload. What the f Gas, bro. I hate the gas. Ooh, I was on such a streak there. I get gassed. I'm just gonna put this like here. Whatever. Hey, let's go. I don't even know how many streaks I'm at now because I think I got a few in that life there. Because if you didn't know, they actually stack. Damn, I got wrecked there. If you didn't know, the kill streaks stack, so you don't have to get like a three kill streak and then die and then get another three kill streak. If you get a six kill streak, it counts as two three kill streaks. Um, I can't see. I shot him. Oh, I actually got him. I don't know how he didn't shoot me there. Like that's kind of wild. But yeah, I have, like for some reason as well, the camo. Challenges have not been popping up like at all for me recently, so I might have already gotten it by now. I have no idea. Like, I've got to be close if I haven't already gotten it. Oh, he was right there. Oh, I haven't seen anybody in quite a while here. What's going on? I think I'm playing too safe. Whoa. Ooh, he stuck me from that far. I deserve that, yeah. I deserve that, good job. I'm fairly confident I already have the camo, so I'm just gonna kind of rush around and try to get as many kills as I can. Oh, let's actually try to win the game as well. That'd be a good idea, yeah. Like, pay attention a little bit to the objective. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that guy's pretty scary. Oh, my posture is okay. Oh. 
Oh my god, please, somebody help. What the hell is that? Yeah, this uh, this camo is a very nice camo as well. It's the last base camo that you get for the ISO. I can't quite remember how to unlock it, but from what I, what I remember, it was, it was really easy, so... Yeah, if you, if you wanted to know where, where this camo comes from. Oh, there's a sniper. I'm gonna run away. Oh, shit, son. I think that was the same sniper. Holy, what the fuck is going on there? Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that. See you later. I'll come up behind you guys. I can't. I thought I could climb that like that, but I guess not. Hello. I feel pretty bad if we didn't win this game. Okay, we can we can win this still. We can. Holy shit! Actually, maybe not. They're getting pretty close. We gotta go hard. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, get it. I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, let's go. What the fuck? How do they st Oh my god, they got another VTOL. It's gonna make it so hard. I don't want to waste the time to destroy the VTOL though, because we gotta, gotta keep these points. Like at this point, I think we might need to triple cap, and I don't- that's not gonna happen, so... Goddamn. Ah, oh, we've lost this match. Yeah, I should've, uh... I guess I should've destroyed the VTOL. <laughs> I think it's just destroying me. Uh, what the... Man. Yo, he, he just he came out of nowhere. Ah, uh, we might have been a few people down as well. Okay, 40 and 18, I swear, if I didn't get the camo, something's up. And there we go. We got the gold camo. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see how it looks in the firing range. I mean, it's gonna look the, the same as pretty much all the other gold guns, but, you know. It looks incredibly nice, like, I'm still super impressed with the way they did the gold camo in this game. Like, honestly, all of the mastery camos, especially now that they updated the, um, the polyatomic and the Orion, they all look so clean, it's incredible. So yeah, as for my build, we'll just look really quick at the base recoil, so if I don't try to manage it at all, so I'm just gonna aim down sight, I'll aim at the, this middle guy, and you can see that the aiming stability is it's pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh, bad, but... So the recoil... The recoil is not that bad. Um, it's very manageable, like it's very easy to actually control. You just very slightly down and a little bit to the left. So we'll just look at the wall really quick as well. So yeah, that's that's like without without management at all. And I'll see if I can. Yeah, like you can you can definitely get it pretty pinpoint. So. Very, very good build, uh, and it's still pretty fast, like I said, we've got increased mobility, handling, damage, uh, and damage range as well because of our, our muzzle. So overall, <clears throat> really strong build. So we got the Echoless 80, which this helps. This is my by far my favorite muzzle on any of the weapons that can attach it. There's ones that are similar to it as well. So basically, you're just looking for the muzzle that has four pros and only two cons. Um, and there's, there's usually one of them. Uh, on whichever gun you're using. So that's the one I go for. And then as for tuning, I've tuned it for aim down sight speed and bullet velocity. And now usually uh, you want to tune it like a little bit, not all the way, but um, yeah, the tuning's a bit weird on controller, so <laughs> it's hard sometimes. And I got the lock grip precision 40. Now this one, a lot of people will say to use the merc grip, foregrip and stuff like that, but I definitely prefer the lock grip precision. Uh, and then I, I tune it for aim down sight speed and hip walking speed. So this one is better for me because of the recoil steadiness. I like to have, I don't really hip fire very much, so I don't care too much about the hip fire accuracy. And the, the Merc foregrip I think provides more hip fire recoil, whereas this one is base recoil. So that's just why I choose this one. The Chrono Mini Pro, uh, again, by far my favorite optic. Uh, it's pretty much the only one I use most of the time. It's, this is my go-to. And I tune it for far all the time. I just like the way it looks. This is definitely personal preference. And then aim down sight speed. You could go for flinch resistance because flinch is like a bit annoying sometimes, but uh, on most of the guns, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. So I just go for aim down sight speed. Now this is again, is something that I do all the time and it's put a sprint to fire speed, rear grip, 
This is extremely beneficial because there's not very many attachments that can give you sprint to fire speed and it is a very very beneficial stat so i always go for a sprint to fire speed grip so as you see here sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed and we're only lo losing a little bit of recoil control and we're gaining that throughout most of our other um, attachments anyway so it's okay and then for tuning i go for sprint to fire speed again you really want to have as much sprint to fire speed as you can get just just in case you're sprinting around a corner or something and you, you need to shoot somebody obviously and then for aim down sight speed versus recoil steadiness i went for aim down sight speed but you could go also go for recoil if you want a little bit more recoil control again these changes are fairly small but they do make a difference for sure so uh, and then for my stock we got the res 2 uh, i think this was just the last thing i added because i couldn't really figure out what i wanted to add i didn't want to add a laser because i was going for kill streaks and i didn't want the laser to give away my position so i just went with this it gives me aim walking speed and some sprint speed so i can get around the map a bit faster and aim walking speed is actually a really beneficial stat for when you're in gunfights and you're trying to strafe, you can make people miss a few extra shots, very useful. And again, we're only missing a little bit of aiming stability, so that's what you saw. The gun does sway a little bit, but again, that doesn't really matter too much at the ranges you're going to be using this gun at anyway, so. And that's it for the build, this is by far my favorite build. I usually use fairly similar attachments for most of my assault rifles as well, so you don't just have to use this on the ISO. Again, like the, the muzzle is going to be the same, the underbarrel is going to be the same, the optic the same, and the grip you want sprint to fire speed, and then the last attachment, do whatever you want at that point. But as for the gun itself, the ISO hamlock is, it has become one of my favorite assault rifles. Uh, it's on par with the, the TAC-56 in my opinion. Like those, those two are incredibly fun to use and they feel very rewarding as well. Really quick before I end the video, I just want to say thank you guys all so much for the support on the recent videos. It's been really crazy and it's definitely been a huge confidence boost for me. I want to provide as much value as I can to you guys so if there's ever anything you want to see whether it be a, a weapon or a camo or anything just let me know and I'll definitely make a video about it but again thank you all so much it really helps to know that I'm moving in the right direction at least and I'm gonna continue to try to improve my content as much as I can but anyways that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and see you next time